Hello, my name is Zilin Wu. I am presenting the paper of Solving Long Tail Recognition with Deep Realistic Taxonomy Classifier. This is a joint work with Pedro Mogado, Pei Wang, Zhi Hui Ho, and Nuno Vasconcelos from SVCL UC San Diego. The world is unbalanced and long-tailed, which means the number of samples in different classes is highly imbalanced. Current classifiers struggle with the imbalanced training distribution and the classification performance degrades significantly as the number of training samples decreases. Prior work in long-tail literature tackles the problem mainly in four directions. Data resampling, oversampled tail classes, and undersampled head classes. Code-sensitive loads assigns different ways for different samples. Transfer learning best methods transfer knowledge from head to tail classes. Normalization techniques are also used to adjust the weight known after training the classifier. These methods seek to improve the classification accuracy of the standard softmax CNN architecture. Although they alleviate the problem by increasing the accuracy in tail classes, the accuracy in head classes is usually sacrificed. Another critical problem is that these classifiers may silently fail. Taking an image as an example, the standard classifier may predict an entirely wrong answer for this image without any notice. This is very dangerous, especially for some high-risk tags that cannot sustain errors like self-driving or medical usages. By contrast, if we ask humans what this is, they can say it's an animal or say it's a dog, even though they don't know what's the breed of this. For zoologists, they can identify its breed as Mexican hairless dog. However, these are all correct answers, even though the level of granularities are different. Humans can provide a less specific but correct answer instead of predicting a wrong answer as standard classifiers. This is because humans adopt class taxonomies and they have the ability to change the problem. When facing a question that they feel insufficiently trained to answer, they simply push the decision to a closer taxonomy level, which they feel confident. For example, humans may change this problem into classifying mammal instead of classifying dog breeds. Inspired by human cognition, we explore a long-tail recognition strategy more consistent with human cognition, adopting hierarchical classification and allowing decisions at intermediate tree levels. There are two goals for this task. The first is to classify all examples with high confidence. The second is to classify each example as deep in the tree as possible without violating the first goal. We denote this task as Realistic Taxonomy Classification, RTC. In this work, we address this problem with a new architecture, Deep RTC. In RTC, the depth at which the class prediction is made depends on the sample difficulty and the competence level gamma of the classification. A confidence score is defined for the classifier which is declared competent at the gamma level for classification if this score is beyond the level. We call an RTC has competence level gamma if all its intermediate node decisions have this competence level. Taking this figure for example, the confidence score of the classifier at N3 is less than gamma, so its children are rejected. Since RTC requires decisions at all levels of the taxonomy tree, samples can be classified into any potential label set containing leaf nodes of any card of the tree. For example, the potential label set can be Y1, Y3, Y3, Y4, or N1, Y3, Y4. As a result, it is important to calibrate the posterior probability of all these label sets. We address this problem by optimizing the ensemble of all classifiers in 
supplementable with the hierarchy. However, this is only feasible for small taxonomies, but does not scale up with the taxonomy size. Instead, we introduce a mechanism, stochastic tree sampling during training, which generates random cards of the tree. At each iteration, a random card is generated by sampling but only random variable for each internal node with a given dropout rate, P. This figure shows some example of possible random cards. For example, if P2 is 0, the left part of the tree is pruned. The classification node is then computed with the left nodes from the random card, which we denoted as STS nodes. This represents the global regularization of the classifier. To implement stochastic tree sampling, we propose a dynamic predictor synthesis procedure. It contains a common feature extractor shared by all predictors for sharing knowledge. The parameter of each predictor is then constructed with the parameter inheritance mechanism. For example, Y1 and Y2 shares the same ancestor, N1, which has parameter theta1. So the parameter for Y1 is theta1 plus theta4, and the parameter for Y2 is theta1 plus theta5. These parameter sharing mechanisms enable the knowledge transfer from head classes to tail classes. In addition to the global regularization from STS laws, we can also enforce local regularization with the no conditional consistency laws as each internal node. For example, the orange box aims to classify samples from Y1 and Y2, so it focuses on training the parameters of theta4 and theta5. This is the overall architecture of DeepRTC, which is trained with the no conditional consistency dose and the stochastic tree sampling dose for the generated random card. For performance evaluation, previous work in long tails seeks to improve the leaf node accuracy with standard flag classifiers. However, this metric only rewards correct predictions at leaves. Another metric, hierarchical accuracy, rewards equally for correct predictions in the tree no matter how deep the predictions are. These metrics fail to reward a trade-off between classification granularity and accuracy, so they are not suitable for RTC. To measure this, we propose a new metric, corrective predicted bits, CPB which measures how much information is predicted correctly. CPB rewards one to correct leaves and smaller scores to correct labels at higher tree levels. This is the only fair metric to compare the models. The tables here show the comparisons to long tail recognizers. Unlike the state of the art flay classifier, Deep RTC does not have to sacrifice leaf accuracy for the many shark classes to accommodate few shark classes. Instead, it exits early for about half of few shark images and guarantees highly accurate answers for all classes. As a result, it can consistently improve the classification performance on all levels of class popularities. We also compare to prior hierarchical classifiers and DeepRTC performs the best among these methods. We also compare DeepRTC with the state-of-the-art paper of learning with rejection with flag classifiers. And again, DeepRTC performs better. To conclude, we propose DeepRTC architecture that can provide coarser predictions with high confidence when samples are too hard. This is well suited for solving the long tail problem. Thank you for listening.